Je m'appelle Harald Schmidt, je suis un docteur médical et une pharmaciste, mais c'est le maximum de français. <laughs> I work at Maastricht University and I have moved now from classical research to precision medicine in the past years. Well, the precision medicine in the moment is the answer to the imprecision medicine that we currently have. So we basically do not understand most of the diseases. Therefore, we have to wait until symptoms arise. We name the disease after a symptom and then we treat the symptoms. But because that does not cure the problem, the diseases become chronic. So we have lots of chronic diseases but they are chronic because we didn't know the cause. It's like if you would bring your car to a mechanic and the mechanic would say, you have to every three months bring your car again because it's chronically defect. You wouldn't accept this, but in medicine we still do. Yeah, it's not something where we talk about the future in 10 or 20 years. There are a lot of things uh, patients or not yet patients can already do. You can, um, for instance, get your genome sequenced. Then you will benefit from every new knowledge that is generated in the next years. You can use symptom checkers so that you don't rely only on your medical doctor about a diagnosis. You can go pre-diagnose there. And of course, you can do prevention. Lifestyle prevention is in 80% of the causes of a chronic disease. So that's the, almost the best thing. I think it's happening in a lot of places. Um, not everything in one place, but there are wonderful collaborators at Harvard University, Karolinska University, for instance where we actually almost challenge the entire system uh, in, in medicine in the moment, where we basically have split up the human body organ by organ. For every organ, we have a specialist, a clinic and a research discipline. But if we actually think the other way around or think of the example of rare diseases, rare diseases are usually caused by one gene. And this gene then can cause symptoms in three or four organs. Our current system of medicine would easily make out of those four symptoms four separate diseases without knowing the cause. And that's what we need to change. We need to boil down to the cause of the disease and actually cure them. I think Precision medicine in this way is questioning the entire structure of medicine and our healthcare system. Actually, we don't have a healthcare system in the moment, we have a sick care system. As long as you're healthy, you're usually not in touch with the healthcare system and you become a customer when you become sick. So, changing such a system that is so established and money making, I think in the last mile that will be tough because we need to uh, basically change a lot of established disciplines, structures, industries that will disappear and new disciplines will appear. I think scientifically what we call network or systems medicine, so bringing the whole body together in, in one discipline is scientifically almost not a challenge anymore. I think we have solved it. What we now need to show is in the clinic for clinician that what we have discovered so far is working in the clinic for the patient and with high precision. Once we have shown that, and I think we will show it in the next one or two years, then the whole system will tilt. So I think we are almost there, but as I said, patients can already now, or not patients, uh, sort of embrace that digital 
uh, way of doing uh, medicine. Yeah, this is, medicine is already quite interdisciplinary, but precision medicine even more, because we're now working with mathematicians, with computer programmers in the lab. I never had that in my group before. Now I have mathematicians in my lab. And uh, a meeting like this one, where you bring all these disciplines together, is almost for me like a homecoming meeting. Normal medical meetings are still based in organs, and I'm always the disruptive guy in these meetings. Here I have the feeling it's basically a homecoming conference. Mm -hmm.